हेलो मैनर्स होप यू वेल आर डूइंग वेल एंड फिट एंड फाइन ड्यूरिंग दिस लॉकडाउन सो टूडे टॉपिक इज स्टेगर्ड ऑब्जर्वेशन एंड आई हैड डिस्कस्ड एवरीथिंग मीन्स एवरी बेसिक पॉइंट रिलेटेड टू स्टेगर्ड ऑब्जर्वेशन इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो इफ यू हैड नॉट सीन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो फॉर द बेसिक यू कैन रिफर इट फ्रॉम माई चैनल एंड यू कैन हैव अ लुक ऑन इट Uh, there I had discussed with the graphical combination. It means a part uh, that is a graphical combination. In in that the staggered observation come and in the previous video I discussed with the simultaneous observation. It means the basic. So today I will dealing with the staggered observation, which mostly asked by the MMD. So let's start. So the first question is from the Subra book, same to same. I had solved it for you and I will explain by. <coughs> by point by point so let's start ndr 46 degree 20 minute north 118 degree 41 minute east and observed long of the sun was obtained at 0800 and found to be itna at azimuth of 150 degree true the vessel then steamed a course of 23 at a speed of 50 knot at 1150 led by meridian altitude was found to be 45 degree 51.2 north find the position of the ship at the second observation Find the ship continued if the ship continued on the same course and speed straight hari p. So from the question, what we get, we had get one observed long at eight o'clock. So in the already I told you if we had one observed long, we will not use dr long. So one thing is clear, and other it is saying that at eleven fifty. Latitude by meridian altitude of sun was found to be itna means one another latitude we are having, and I had already told you that if we have by meridian altitude, then this will be our then the PL for this latitude is east and west. So this thing is clear. I hope, and now we have to find the position at eleven fifty and also position at twelve hundred. So as per question, one of one longitude we had get at eleven eight uh, o'clock. And the vessel has doing fifty knot with with the speed of fifty knot with course two three eight, and he has reached two eleven fifty. So we will use plain sailing formula to get our dr latitude and longitude at eleven fifty. So let's start. So total time from zero eight zero zero hour to one one five zero is three hour fifty minute. And speed is fifteen knot. So total distance we had covered is covered is fifty seven point five mile, and course is two three eight. From the question I has taken it, that is south fifty eight degree west. Therefore, from there we had get departure. Departure is equals to distance into sine course, and by putting the value we had get the value. Delay is departure by ten course. So our delay will be this. So without waste, let's start. Dr at eight o'clock is forty-eight degree twenty minute north, and our longitude is. We will not use we will not use this longitude, as I had already told you that this azimuth is given for this longitude. So we will take this longitude that is our observed longitude at eight o'clock. Observed longitude at eight o'clock is. One one eight degree forty six minute east. Now, let delete. We get. We will put it. We will convert into degree, and we will solve it. Then our eleven fifty dr latitude is forty five degree forty nine point five minute north. We having a departure. And from here we will calculate our amlet. That is forty six point one degree. Okay. Now from here we will calculate our d long. That is for getting d long, the formula is departure by cos of amlet. That is d long is our seventy point four minute. And we will convert 
into degree and we will lie right that will be our 1 degree 10 decimal 4 east therefore our, therefore our longitude at 1150 will be 117 degree 35 decimal 6 east to convert minute into degree we will divide minute by 60 so we will get into degree so now we have been the 1150 dear latitude and 1150 observed longitude so we will do a graphical plotting so let's take the observed long anywhere because we are having only one long so it's simple observed long at 1150 is 117 degree 35.6 minute okay guys i hope you are getting this and the dl latitude is 45 degree 49.5 at 1150 so and we having a meridian altitude latitude that is it to 45 degree 51 so it will be higher and 1150 dl latitude will be lower so we will plot accordingly by with proper scale we will do it by taking the proper difference that is delete we will plot it so this is our meridian altitude for this pl is 270 degree 090 this will be our pl and the other latitude 1150 dl latitude is we had plotted here we will plot the first pl first pl means this for azimuth 150 our pl will be what so azimuth 150 pl will be 150 plus minus 90 that is 240 minus 060 so we will plot it from here 240 and 06 degree one question may arise in your mind that this azimuth is given for 8 o'clock but why we are doing at 1150 so my friends it's very simple as the pl is not going to change because the ship is doing same course and same speed throughout the time so we will extend our pl from 8 o'clock to 1150 it will do the same so we had to reduce the time and want to do in a one page we had doing this at 1150 there is no no there there is nothing change there will be nothing change at all in the pl so we had done draw we will draw this pl and this is one pl this is the other pl and where two pl intersects each other that will be our ship's position this is the ship position at 1150 so this is our departure and this is our delete so guys from here from the figure we are seeing that the latitude at 1150 will be 45 degree 51 decimal 2 and this will be our fixed latitude 1150 the latitude will be same and the other latitude is this so from here we will calculate our mean latitude that will be our 45 degree itna minute okay guys so after that we will calculate what we need departure so from after measuring it from the scale the departure is 3 degrees so doing the calculation we will get our d long d long will be our 4 decimal 3 east the direction of d long will be same as of the departure so we get the latitude at 1150 and 1150 observed long we having and we will get our final longitude
therefore our final longitude at 1150 will be so guys 1150 position is latitude 45 degree 51 decimal 2 and longitude is 117 degree 39 decimal 9 minute east and north so we had done one part of the new, uh, questions and the other part is saying that we need we we need uh, the position at 1250 sorry guys 12 o'clock ep for 12 o'clock and in question already it is mentioned that ship is still doing same speed and the same course so so we will apply the run from 150 to 12 o'clock at 15 knots so we will cover almost 2.5 miles on course of same we will get deal at 0 degree 0 1 decimal south so 1150 latitude is 45 degree 51 decimal to north and deal at we had calculated we will apply it it is in the south so we will do the subtraction so we will get 12 o'clock latitude will be 45 degree 49 decimal 9 north we having two latitude we will calculate our mean latitude so mean latitude will be our 45 decimal 8 and from this only we will get our departure departure is west sorry 0 de 2 decimal 1 west and we having mean latitude we having departure so we will calculate our d long by the formula departure by cos of mlet so d long will be our 3 decimal 0 so 1150 longitude is 117 39 decimal 9 east and we will apply our d long which is in the west direction that is 0 degree 3 decimal 0 west so we will get 12 o'clock longitude that will be 117 degree 36 decimal 9 east so final position 12 o'clock latitude 45 degree 49 decimal 9 north and longitude 117 degree 36 decimal 9 hope you guys get it and if, if you had understand then please like the channel and subscribe the channel for any question related to any subject even the oral just give a comments i will solve it thank you